Hi, I'm Don Cottom with 323 Link, and today I want to show you Zoom Rooms for Touch. And so this is a really, really cool platform. Um, if you already are involved in utilizing Zoom Rooms, this may be a very good option for you. Um, it's where you can take a large, if you already have existing large touch screens in conference rooms or classrooms, we can leverage that and use that device as our main interface for the system. And I'm about to show you what I mean. Secondly, um, if you're looking at adding more Zoom rooms, this could be a very, very good option uh, for several reasons I'll get into. So let me go ahead and share. So in this room, let's pretend for today that I have a 65 inch touch screen at the front of the room. And here is what that touch screen looks like. So we can customize the background logo. Um, and in this case, this is actually one of our demo rooms. And so you can see, uh, I have the time there, the date. If I had upcoming events, they would show up in that white box area where I could join those events or meetings immediately. So, but most people who walk into one of these conference rooms, this screen would be up all the time and normally not powered off except for in the evenings, uh, things like that. So let's say our group comes in and we want to share content from a PC or whatever device we might be uh, handling at that time. I'm going to hit that share screen icon and I'm going to go ahead and share content from my iPhone and I have to enter that code that pops up on the front wall. So in this case, I hit OK. And now you are seeing up on the front 65 wall, uh, screen, touch screen, you are seeing my uh, iPhone. Now what's really cool about this is people up at the board can actually annotate on top of content that is being transmitted into the whiteboard image itself. So think of it this way. Anybody who comes in the room can share content from any device to the front of the room. You don't have to buy Apple TV. You don't have to buy expensive wireless presentation systems. You can get rid of the cables in the room completely. It just all gets pushed wirelessly up to the front of the room. So I'm going to stop sharing. So the next thing people may want to do is come in and use that as a whiteboard. I hit the whiteboard icon. I very simply use my finger or a stylus to write on that, that screen. Um, and you see inside here, it gives me the option to go ahead and meet with others. I can start a meeting down at the bottom right. Uh, you have all your basic whiteboarding functionality with your different colors. And you have your uh, undo and redo and all those types of features. You can save the content or you can delete it. And if you close out, it's gonna give you an option to either go ahead and save it or go ahead and close it, which I'm gonna do. So if you have a meeting, you already know the meeting ID and it's not listed in your list over here on the right hand side, then you're gonna go ahead and join a meeting and you would put in that meeting ID and hit join meeting. If you're gonna start a meeting ad hoc with a group of users, and remember Zoom can connect um, up to just basically out of the, the package you would have, the regular Zoom room, up to 100 people on video, audio, from any device, mobile device, on any network. So I've launched a call and now I wanna add some people. Well, what they've done is they've taken the controls that used to be on the iPad or would be on the iPad and they put them up on the touch screen at the front of the room. So if I wanna go add a few people, I could go pick a few people from my list and go ahead and invite and I would meet with those people immediately. Um, I also can control my participants. I can switch my cameras. I can go ahead and share content in this mode as well to share all of the others. Now what's really great, again, it has the recording functionality so I can record the sessions. I can record my training sessions and things like this. So it's a full video conference functionality built into this and it all is, revolves around that touch screen you have at the front of the room. Let's face it, you've got a big investment in that system uh, anyway. Well, if you have any questions about Zoom rooms or Zoom touch, Please, please feel free to contact me. My name is Don Cottom of 323Link. Our website is 323Link.com. Uh, you can also reach me directly at 615-794-8777. And uh, we look forward to talking to you again, Don Cottom. Uh, and we, uh, we sure hope we can help you with your Zoom room needs.